Where was the technology that's used all over the world to detect gluten in foods developed? And what about the method for the recovery of helium, a rare element that's essential for the operation of medical equipment? Who found out how to use stem cells for the first time in a drug and then expanded the use in medicine? All of these technologies have been developed in Spain by the Spanish National Research Council, the CSIC. And today we continue to work to ensure that research and scientific development improve our living conditions in the future. Enabling surgeons and patients to know the results of a cataract or presbyopia surgery before carrying it out. Enabling the visualization of breast lesions of less than two millimeters, which increases the chances of effectively treating cancer. Developing robots and exoskeletons that can help to improve the quality of life of people with motor injuries. And by integrating artificial intelligence and machine learning to achieve interaction between humans and robots, whilst addressing ethical, regulatory and philosophical issues developing specific instrumentation for telescopes and spacecraft, recovering more than 30 varieties of Galician and Asturian vine that were wiped out by the Phylloxera plague in 1870, obtaining plant varieties with greater resistance to diseases, thereby avoiding the use of pesticides and helping to make agriculture more sustainable, transforming our science into real advances that improve people's lives and looking for solutions for the great challenges that await us, such as the purification of water in depleted areas of Ethiopia, using filters obtained from local materials which favours the development of these areas, or the sustainable exploitation of fishery resources, promoting the conservation of the reproductive potential of fish populations, or improving the life of our cities with the implementation of new mobility management systems or new energy solutions such as fast charging graphene batteries and batteries for large scale storage. Or fighting against the depopulation of rural areas through the implementation of new forms of communication and the creation of highly profitable micro enterprises, thereby helping to eradicate poverty or facing the challenge of longevity through gene therapies to fight Alzheimer's or personalized nutrition to combat neurodegeneration. Or by conserving heritage and promoting more fair, peaceful and inclusive societies where everyone has their own space. Because here at the CSIC, we're working to improve everybody's future. Mm -hmm.